I've opened a terrain model and I want to try and understand how water would flow across this surface. Now, previously, I'd need to use some fairly manual techniques. I can annotate flow arrows and inspect them. I could use analyze pond or I could do upstream and downstream flow traces. We've now added a new tool, analyze catchment. And if I pick a terrain model, then we use the location of the cursor to find the low point and then the area that contributes to that low point. So as I move around, I'm getting information at the tooltip about the area and other associated data. If I data point, then we create two elements. We create a shape element to delineate the boundary of that watershed, and we also create a point element to get the coordinates of the low point. If I run the tool again, you can see that I can use a fence if I want to restrict the area to analyze, but I can also tick on display all catchments and then we see all of the catchments for the terrain model.